hello and welcome back so this is part 23 of my making of ashenade uh videos there's gonna be 25 parts all together i know it's been a while since i uploaded any of these um august was crazy with the convention i had very much con crunch which i wasn't trying to do and then september was just a lot as well so we're here in october i'm gonna finish getting these guys up and then i'm gonna go back to vlogween so what i'm doing in this video is making my cape, which is super simple. I use three pieces of a um, stretch fabric. I don't type exactly, but any stretch fabric. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it exactly, but that's what I went with for this. So I just kind of measured out how long I wanted it to hang from my shoulders. And I'm pretty short, so I think I only did like, I think they were like 24 inch long pieces, these two pieces here. So these are gonna be even. Um, and then I have a piece that goes from shoulder to shoulder that kind of drapes a little bit. I just wanted a little bit of a, a cape, you know, wow, you always have capes. Um, but I didn't want to do a solid cape that completely covered my back because I didn't want to hide the back of my costume because I really liked it. So I did kind of like a drapey, it goes from like shoulder and kind of drapes to the other shoulder and comes down. So I'd have these two strips that went down my back. That way you see, still see the back of my costume, but I still technically have a cape. Um, and I just used my serger for this. So... Um, one side is a fold. I sold, sewed two sides and I left the top side open so I could turn these um, right side out so you won't see these seams. But here I'm doing the two pieces that hang down. I know this isn't the most instructional video here. Oh, and I use fray check um, anytime I'm using my serger so things won't come unraveled. So that's what it looks like. I think this bottle's from like Walmart or Joann's or something. It's just simple fray check. Yeah, I am turning them right side out now. And then I'm going to pin them, and with my regular sewing machine, I'm going to go around the edges and then also um, finish that top open side that I didn't sew yet. But yeah, so this is the last part of actually making the costume. The next two videos are going to be on how I made my daggers, which was an adventure, but yeah, so you guys will get to see those soon. Um, okay, so here I'm showing how I connected the three pieces I had together. I hand stitched them and I gathered them. So the pieces that went from shoulder to shoulder were wider pieces than the two pieces that hung down towards my butt for my shoulders. And that was so that I could kind of gather the middle piece together so it'd have a nice drapey look. And I just did like an invisible stitch um, I forget the stitch name of this exactly. I should know that, but I can't remember. But yeah, I just used black thread on this black fabric and just kind of like looped it in there as I'm showing. And then when you pull it tight, um, you can't see the thread. And I'm also kind of spacing out a little bit because I am gathering the fabric. So when I have the stitches spaced out, when I pull them together, it's gonna push the fabric together as you're seeing here. And I'm not sure if I announced yet, but my next cosplay I'm making is No Face, and that's going to be a much smaller build. Um, right now, I'm thinking it's only going to be like three to five videos, so we'll see. I haven't actually started No Face, but I have all the materials for No Face. And she, he, she, them, I'm not really sure what No Face is technically. Um, I usually say they. Is are for a for a convention in January called OhioCon, which I'll be competing in as well. So I have a few months to do her. So I, I'll be starting that soon, probably. But I do plan on doing like vlogging again this month and getting back into making videos, even if they're sm smaller videos than um, these cosplay ones have been. Because even though they're short videos, like I think my two dagger videos I'm editing today too. Um, I think they're like, I know one of them for painting, the painting one is like five minutes long, I think. But I spent over 16 hours actually painting the daggers, so it, it was a lot. But okay, so this is how it looks once I hand stitch. So you can see here, I hand stitched the little edges. And now I'll be ready to use my sewing machine for regular state stretch, not stretch, sorry. Straight stitch in a ballpoint needle since it's stretch fabric. You can see I did here a little bit, but it's just real straightforward there. And I just went around all of the edges 
all the way around. And then I kind of, so my plan here was to fold this and then iron it and hopefully it'd be creased. But apparently this fabric isn't really kind that creases in my bad. So it didn't quite lay the way I wanted. But I'm also adding two of my um, snaps like I've used elsewhere on each side of my cape, so four total, to snap onto my chest piece. Same kind of snaps I'm used on my snap, on same kind of snaps I used on my trust, chest piece, oh my, um, to put it on, so. I have poked holes, I had marked out before of Sharpie, now I poked holes where I'm going to put the snaps, and did the same to the cape. And this did work pretty well, but I should have went in with a nylon webbing or the like because um, both the cape, mostly the cape, but also the faux leather, it, the snaps are willing to pull out of. So I actually have to take tweezers and like pop the, off the snaps that way. Otherwise, if I just pull in the fabric, it wants to come loose. So note for you, if you try to do snaps like this to put a sturdier fabric in there or material, that these snaps can't pull through. But other than that, it did work well, and it's not damaged or anything. Like I said, one tried to pop through a little bit, like I used tweezers to be more careful, so. And that's how it looks on. Other than I won't be wearing a shirt underneath it, and I did add some faux fur to the chest piece down in the middle there. But yeah, it just hangs down on the shoulders. down to my butt. So yeah, that is the cape for this costume and that is all of the build other than what we're wearing all the way here, but I'm gonna be showing photos now from the convention. I'm gonna link the different photographers down below, but this is from the Dealer's Den at Esri Con, a photographer that had stopped me. Um, oh, this was another photographer that had stopped me, but I was outside the convention here and kind of standing in the plants carefully. I thought that was pretty cool. So you can see all of my cosplay together, even my daggers here, even though I'm not holding them. Other than my lights weren't on. My lights were dead by this point. It was quite late. But I hope that these videos help you. Um, if you have any questions on how to make things, I'm happy with that too. This picture is actually from the fashion show, which is where I was competing. This is one of the poses I did on stage. Um, a random photographer got photos of as well. And this was a shoot that I had scheduled with a photographer um, the same evening as the fashion show, but later at night. And I thought that was pretty cool. But thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the dagger making videos, which are the next two videos.